Hi, I'm Dave and welcome back to Brentec IT Sport. Today we've got another sponsored video from Ryelm. But this time we've got some a set of four solar flicker candle lights. Now we've got some previously that we purchased from other places and um, but these ones have different moldings so they're definitely not coming out of the same factory. And so I thought it'd be very nice to compare how these go to our current ones because we really enjoyed our old ones and I'm hoping we're going to enjoy these ones as well. So let's have a look at the unboxing. Let's have a look what comes in the box. First of all, we've got our set of instructions and drilling templates. Now these temp drilling templates are really, really great. Um, they're sticky back labels, so you can stick it to the wall. Having drilling templates like this is excellent. I really do wish more companies would provide drilling templates if something's going to be wall mounted. We also have your year warranty card and instructions. Mounting hardware. The light itself. with your solar panel on top. Lots of pieces. I like sticks. Ground spikes. In the little packets we have our wall anchor and elbows. So we have four wall anchors, four elbows, four ground spikes, four extension poles, and obviously the four lights, and also the, the mounting hardware for that as well, which is great, it comes with all of this. And to have these wall mounted or in the ground, both look very, very nice. We'll just show you how to put them together. Yeah. With the light, we have our solar panel at the top, which is a printed PCB and the battery is at the bottom. Now there is a seal there and a rubber grommet here which really keeps it very well sealed and is absolutely well made. Now you've got your on off switch there. Obviously you're not gonna see it on now because of the sun, but when it gets dark and the sun is covered from that, the lights will come on. For placing it into the ground, what you want to do is get your spike, place that into the bottom of the pole and then get the top of the light and just push it in nice and firm to the top. Might as well turn it on before you put it in the ground. You can do it afterwards, it doesn't matter. But find your location that you want to put it to. And from the bottom, you go push in as low as you can to the spike. That way you won't risk damaging the pole or putting pressure at the top. Obviously, if the ground's too hard, don't force it in as you could crack the plastic. So just make sure the ground is nice and soft first. Maybe give it a water half an hour before you put it in just to soften the ground if you have really tough soil. Okay, once you've assembled it, you can or you can either have or leave off the spike. It's up to you depending on how much length you want. Again, turn it on first. And then if you've got a table with a umbrella hole, pop it in the hole and then you've got a lovely center piece for your table. So if you really enjoy doing it like that, you sit in the evening, eating around, you've got a lovely little bit of light lighting up your evening tea. It's very pretty. Love it. Another thing that um, people have done with these that I've seen is they've used poo noodles and zip ties to tie them to the legs of um, swimming baths, which looks really, really nice in the photos that I've seen. If you're going to mount it to the wall, you're going to want to use your wall anchor and look for the directional arrow there and you'll have another arrow here. So that's just showing that that one's got to slide in there and there is a key system. So you will need to line that up for that. And then obviously that's going to be facing up for you to get your light and insert into here. It is tight, but give it a bit of a push and it will go in firm like so. And then obviously you'll need to screw that to the wall. But I would screw this to the wall first and then insert your whole assembly like that. Now, before you drill your holes in the wall, make sure you have the correct SDS bit or at least a masonry bit. On the 
side of the wall plug, it says JD6. And I assume that's referring to a six mil drill bit. So you've got a six mil SDS masonry bit here. And to double check, what you do is just line up your drill bit behind it. And if you can see drill bit in front of it, you know you've got a two bigger one. But the six does look about right. They don't mention that in the instructions of which size you want, at which size bit you need. It would be nice if they include that to make that nice and clear. But we're gonna start off with the six um, just to demonstrate how to put it on the wall. And before you put it up on the wall, I'd actually get the parts, line them up, and just position it on the wall so that you know where you want it to go. So once you're happy with the positioning of the light, you use that center IR there to know where the bottom hole is. So you've got that where you want it, take it away. Now you get your sticker and have that at the height that you want it. Don't put it too firmly on the wall to get your spirit level up and make sure that those dots are level. So just keep rotating the sticker until you've got that as level as possible. And when you're happy with it, you can push it down firm and then double check. And when you're happy that the bubble is in the middle and you've got that at the height you want, you know that bottom hole is gonna indicate the bottom of your bracket and those two holes should line up with the top and so if you take the bracket off you can see those holes will line up like so meaning that when you insert this onto the bracket it will be straight so now if you're going to drill this obviously wear safety glasses i'm not actually going to keep it fixed to the wall i'm not going to drill it i'm just doing this for demonstration but when you do do any drilling make sure you wear eye protection and possibly a dust mask as well but you get your sds drill insert your bit Make sure it's on hammer drill. Line up the drill as straight as you can and just go straight through the template on all three holes. It does obviously make quite a bit of noise. Make sure you've got your direction correct. And you literally, you just go straight into the wall and then remove the template. Once you've drilled the holes and removed your template, open up your packet. Take out the wall plugs and using a rubber mallet, just drive them through the holes and once you've got your wall plug in the hole make sure you remove the template and then with the crosshead screwdriver just screw that straight to the wall once you've screwed it to the wall then insert the light they do have a lovely flicker effect the two lights in the front are the ones from our sponsor and the one in the background is a lamp that we already had which are very different in their construction. They're both solar powers and both contain their own power cell. But the ones today have a plastic solar cell and hopefully they'll be UV safe. Obviously we haven't had them very long so we don't know how long they'll last. But the one at the back is a glass solar cell. But the one at the back I've had in the past and the contacts have gone wrong. Whereas the ones that we've got today, all of their joints are sealed with rubber gaskets and the switches are sealed in their own box which is then covered with a rubber gasket around that as well so i do have a feeling that they're going to be much more durable at least the electronics will be so i'm very pleased with how they put these ones together i probably wasn't meant to take one apart and see all the internals but i was curious and so off camera i took one apart and saw all the seals that they put in to make them waterproof and so I do think they're very well made. I'm impressed by how they've gone and only time will tell how long they'll last. I hope they're going to last us a nice long time. Well, you've had a quick unboxing and look at the Rayloom solar lamps. I like them. I think they're really nice. Um, as I said earlier, I probably wasn't going to take one apart. This is the one I took apart and around the electronics for the battery and the lights which are at the bottom they've got a internal rubber o-ring to help keep the water out and as the rain as it's all starting from the top and working down it should keep the water out better than the other ones that we've had from other manufacturers which i've had problems with where the contacts for the switch actually started to rust and degrade and they've had to clean them and take them apart but these ones i think are going to last a lot longer so 
The solar panels on these ones are plastic, um, PCB printed type one. Very interesting construction. I I, I'm not going to take it apart because I don't want to break it, but I'd like to see how they make the um, PCB solar cells. Um, they're very interesting. As long as it's UV safe, that's going to last a long enough. You no, know, the plastic of the casing is going to degrade at the same sort of rate, I'd have thought. So it's going to be great. I love them. Um, I'll show you the whole garden in a minute and you can see the different solar lights we've got from other providers as well. But our sponsors ones, I love them. I, I, I really think they're going to be worthwhile. And um, with the other lights that they've given us as well, we're really going to have a little magical oasis here. So thank you very, very much to our sponsors. I'm not saying how good they are just because they're a sponsor. If I'd actually bought these, I would have been happy. Um, so yeah, it, it's great. Well, thank you very much for watching this video. I do hope you enjoyed it. If so, do give it a good like, thumbs up, comment and subscribe. Wish you all well and hope to see you soon. Take care. Bye for now.